today's video, I will be styling Outre Perfect Hairline in the style Dominica, and this is in the color 1B. Prior to filming this video, all I did to the wig was spray my lace tint. I used the Eben lace tint in the color medium brown, and I did not pluck this wig at all. First things first, I like to cut the air tabs of the wig off. This will help to actually lay my lace completely down on my head. Now I'm just cutting my lace into three sections and I like to do it this way because I just feel like it just helps me to focus on each section one by one and I just prefer it that way. And as far as the adhesive spray that I'm using, I'm using the Got To Be High Insta Hold Spray. So one thing about Outre Perfect Hairline, their lace is so seamless to me. It's very thin, so you do have to be careful if you do decide to pluck the wig, but I love a thin lace. It just looks so much more natural. band to help melt down the lace even more and I'm using this blow dryer on the medium heat setting. I blow dry it for like about five minutes. I don't have that much patience to do any longer than that but it still come out looking nice. So those of you who've watched my YouTube video before knows that I only cut my lace in a zigzag motion, never straight across. I do not think it looks natural like that and it just looks too noticeable for me. As you can see the hairline area is looking pretty light but don't worry we're gonna go in with that free spray and we're gonna melt it down even more I think it just looks light like that because the lace is not fully down looking better we definitely see a difference so now to make it look even more natural I like to go in with my cream foundation and just blend it in a little bit more and this is what really helps to make that lace that hairline area look so natural this product is the Ruby Kisses cream foundation it will be linked in my Amazon storefront and my Amazon storefront will be linked in my description box
comes to my baby hairs, I try not to pull out too much. I like it a little bit more on the natural side. So I only pull out a little bit of baby hairs. to do the baby hairs I like to cut my baby hairs right above my eyebrows I see a lot of people ask me to do a synthetic wig baby hair tutorial like a lot of people just can't get it right with synthetic wigs and that is completely understandable so if y'all want me to do a separate video on baby hairs with synthetic wigs let me know in the comments worried about the tangling and the shedding of this wig so as far as a synthetic wig especially if it's long and curly you will get tangles it's long and it's curly and it's synthetic fibers so you do have to maintain it a lot more than your other wigs so to maintain a wig like this I would say one do not sleep in this wig at all take it off at night and put it on a wig stand or a satin bag I would prefer a wig stand though number two while you are wearing this wig even if you're not wearing it do not touch the wig as much do not brush the wig do not finger comb it just leave it as it is if it is like sticking up you know just pull it back down but do not try to brush through it it will mess up the curls and it will just tangle it even more and lastly I would say before you take the wig off to go to bed part the hair in sections add a little bit of mousse on your hand and twist the hair and like two strand twists on each section just so that the curls are maintained so if you put clips in your synthetic curly hair just be careful when you're taking it out because you don't want to snag it and it'll mess up the curl pattern so just try to be delicate when it comes to that process concealer in the color fawn to define my parting space I usually like to go in with my wax stick on most of my synthetic units but for this unit specifically I decided not to use a wax stick and just go straight in with the hot comb on the hairline area and the reason why I didn't use my wax stick was because I didn't want to lose that curl pattern from the like on the roots area of the wig. I was just like, I could just throw a little bit of heat on that area, but not too much. Like don't flatten it down too much. Since this wig is more of like a big curly type of wig, I did not want to go in with a comb, not even a wide tooth comb. I just wanted to, you know, finger it out a little bit, finger comb it, and not even too much of that because it's already big and curly. And I didn't want to mess up the curls, so I just kind of fluffed it out a little bit and left it at that. So here are the final results of the wig. What is she giving y'all? Because to me, she's giving vacation, vacation summertime beach everything under the sun and i absolutely fell in love with this unit 
this has to be one of my favorite Outre Perfect Hairline units and I will probably get this wig in another color. That is how much I like this wig. So y'all let me know how y'all feeling about this wig down below. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for my next video.